retain her summons. We're going to have to take a look at that in a second. He's looking the wrong way, basically. Gross. Unable to acquire esophagus blood vial due to inventory or storage max. Okay, well if that's what esophagus blood vial does to you, then I don't want to drink it. Your blood's gross anyway. Blood vial acquired from the lady doctor at Esophagus Clinic. This is refined blood, highly invigorating, restores a large amount of HP. This rare blood vial is a product of a slow and careful refinement process, likely devised by the doctor herself. If it turns you into those, then nah. Nah, we ain't. This was like Kane her summons, wasn't it? Here we go. An old blood... Uh-oh, an old blood stained. Well, I guess it's old blood stained. So it's not old blood. It's old, and it's blood stained. It's fine. Summons, inviting an honored guest to the forsaken castle, Canehurst. I don't know if I've ever been there or not. Rather bafflingly, it is addressed to you. Do not hesitate. The stagecoach leaves from Hemwick Crossing. I know of Hemwick. Did I ever take a stagecoach anywhere? I don't think I did. How curious. I'm not going to consume the other blood to pick up this, because I, I think that blood's evil blood. Oh my god. So it looked like a blonde woman that I was talking to through the grate. But now, now we're back through. So even though I've been locked out of this room for so long, this was the room where I started the beginning of the game. And it becomes locked and she's there afterwards? After you lose and die once. So she's not here anymore. There's this blue thing. It's got her blood on it. So it could just be like, instead of a bottle of her blood, it could just directly be her blood. Maybe she's an alien pod person. Ugh, creepy. She could have escaped more back this way though, and that could be one of her... patients. Another beast rune, okay. I've had two of them now lately from areas of the game that I never found before. Whoa. I'm kind of worried that the Resident Evil crows are going to break through a window and get me. Open this door. Ah, moonlit scents. How did you worm your way in here? Very unfortunate. I had such high hopes for you. Well, I won't make any excuses. Would you mind leaving us alone? Things need not change. You'll do the rescuing, and I'll do the saving. But, if you refuse to leave... Oh well. I've always wanted to try my hand on a hunter. <laughs> well, that wasn't a Sofka back there. And she's like a total villain, and... Yeah! Okay. I, I don't love that. Looked like it moved. You're, you're, you're not alive, right? Monster thing. 
Not a mimic. Not a mimic. Cool. Communion. It's another type of room. Okay, like, I don't know. Like, she's, she's a villain. I can't leave a villain here. Shame it meant my 22,000 souls, though. Oh god, she's got demon arms. She's working for them. Oops. I'm out of bullets. Blood bullets. Go. I wasn't oblivious. You're working for the villains. Odeon Reeve. Oh my god, this was crazy. This was crazy. I, I, I never saw this before. What evil, abominable... Her doctor research is she doing back here? We're gonna, we're gonna need every torch. All torches, hands on deck. Oh man. No sign of the guy that I sent this way. So I guess she turned him into the first blue guy. Or one of the other blue guys. I gotta say, I, I, you know, I had a strong feeling she was a villain, but I'm not happy to be proven right. <laughs> uh, it would have been nice if she was a nice guy. She was not. I could tell as soon as she used the squid powers that we were dealing with someone a little bit unhinged. They really like wasting space in some of these rooms. Like there's this jutting out bit and then they stuff the 
you know, you lose so much volume of of the room doing that, putting furniture like way out instead of against the wall. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. like a wolf's howl back that way. I wonder if any more of that's like playable level. We should look off the side and things. It doesn't look all that playable down there. And this side is a building right up against it. So I don't think this is a playable side either. How curious. What the heck was that that we heard? Could be like a signifier for an event, you know, once you've killed a Sofka and then you pass a certain threshold back the other way. There it is again. We'll try going through the building one more time as well. Just in case I was supposed to go back through the building and I, I missed it. Anybody here? I don't think that's my guy that I rescued. Or tried to rescue by sending him back this way. I think that one's always there. So we've got three graveyard dudes. We got Lightning Dog. Probably go for Lightning Dog next. Nah, I'm gonna do the three graveyard dudes, I think. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. Ooh, three stamina. It's getting better. Pretty sick. Uh, 16,880. Welcome home. What is it? Very well. Let me. Uh, two again rather than three, but still. The one we got on the moment is the the health regen one. versus open foes. I guess they're that, that's people that you've uh, got ready for a, a finisher. A crit. I think I'm going to keep my health region. Call me a weirdo if you must, but uh, I, I kind of love regening health. Wow, that's a lot more attack up. And that's all I've been using before. So I guess I got nothing better than that now. Cool. Big, great big upgrade. Uh, and this one... Yeah, I was just doing it for the attack up. The slow poison's just like, it's on there, but I don't know if it even works. I don't think I've ever slow poisoned anyone in the game. 
Okay, that's that's as good as that's we're gonna get. Again, we only have the same options as always. So I guess in case I do do pull out the cane. Hello, Sly. I just found a whole bunch of new content. Again. I found out how to get to somewhere that I've never been able to get to. Again. <laughs> I'm on a roll now that I can see the screen properly. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I did actually write like a sorry note in the title, like, sorry to everyone with like notifications are <laughs> and stuff like that. This goes down by three, but then up by six. Overall, this is better. So far, having health has made me enjoy the game a lot more. I'm not going to say I'm, I'm loving it. Okay, I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Let's, let's have a quick look back at where we were, just in case, like, reloading the area does anything. I'm going to show you the other cool place that I went to that I found. So you can you can teleport to the first ever warp in the game. And this is like where I found all, this, all the secret stuff. So cool. So near Patch's house, Spider Patches, in the village, we found that extra cave. I went down there immediately this morning. And after you go through the cave and you fight the uh, blobbish guys, you come out on the top of two ladders. Check for secret rooms a bit on the way, but I guess I didn't hit every single wall everywhere all the time. But it's just around here, where this door had been locked the whole time, and I could see a piece of loot right here on this guy. And I'd been looking around the level so much. You come out of the swamp at the top of this ladder, and you're back in the starting level. And that feels so deep in the game. And this is now back at the start. I talked with Sofka about the beastly beast man that I sent her, and she's all like, Hooray! It's awesome, I'm curing him. Don't worry, nothing evil going on here. And she's giving me loot, and the old gods are whispering as I get the loot, and she's giggling maniacally to herself, and she's like, total villain material. But then I, I come back out, and then there's this gate. We go through the gate. There's a whole bunch more level down here out the back of the starting church. Pretty cool. There's one of the uh, bag demons without his bag. One of the little weak ones. Give him a quick bit of the old jabberoonie. And he's out of there. Three bullets every time. And I noticed there was a lantern. But it wasn't to guide you to a house that you can knock on the door. It's a really bad well. Uh, it's to guide you to this ladder instead. You go on the roof. There's a couple of crows up here, but nothing much, nothing much. But you can carry on. We'll leave the crows, they're not important. They're fine. Uh, so, I'm more like, wait, isn't this the back of a Sofka's clinic? That's weird. You can actually open the door this way, and the entire time I'm down here, I'm more like, are the Resident Evil crows gonna jump through a window and start annihilating me? I hate them crows. Oh, this guy remains dead, even though we've reloaded the area. That's weird. So, she was here talking to me through the door. I'm able to open it again, like it is at the very beginning of the game, before you first die. And I'm just like, well, she this thing dropped a Sofka's blood, which she gave me at the start, still in my inventory. Seems like evil blood didn't, didn't drink it. Who wants to drink blood anyway? It seems like she's turning people into pod people. I didn't expect this. No, we'll have a look at that in a second. And there was a letter right here. And the letter tells me that I've been invited to Canehurst, Castle Canehurst. It's addressed to me, this letter, which is baffling, according to my character. And apparently, I can get on a stagecoach that leaves from Hemwick Crossing. Now, I know the name of Hemwick Crossing. But I don't know if I've ever been to Castle Canehurst. So this is curious. Let's see what this note says, as long as I missed it. Handwritten scroll. Seek player blood to transcend the hunt. I think I may have read that at the beginning of the game when we got off of the operating table. So you come back through this way. And then you you go through this area. 
not knowing what's gonna happen. Oh, there's another one of these guys, and he remained dead as well. And there's some being operated on at the table. There was something in here. And once we got to this room, it all started up. She's all like, oh no, you've discovered the secret. I rather wish you hadn't. If you leave right now, it'll just be like old times. You keep on getting me victims. And uh, I'll keep doing what I'm doing and curing them. Get out of here. But if you come in, I I would love to see what happens when I operate on a hunter. So she gives us our villain dialogue. I carried on through. Uh, I guess it's a much more normal version of fast traveling than Dark Souls when you get in a coffin. Yeah, true. Uh, and she was up here and she was start. No, she didn't say victim. She, she thought she was healing people. But when I got... Uh, here she jumped me from around the right hand corner and she started using squid arm powers like one of the other bosses in the game the guy with the thing bolted to his head the Billy the dreamer like Mensis the dreamer and uh, yeah when she used the squid power I knew she was evil there was one more bit that happened when I first entered one of the doorways here it was like a old dark god whisperings, and it tried to like grapple me, and I, I backed off and retreated immediately through the doorway, and then when I tried again, it didn't happen. So there's a possible bit where if you just stand in this doorway and you don't move, then you get grappled off to somewhere, like some of the other times the, the, the evil things grab you. But wh whatever I did, I kind of like avoided it with instantaneous panic reflex. <laughs> and so whatever happens there didn't happen. I might need to play the whole game again. Again. So yeah, the, the guy that keeps running around, yeah, he's the guy that's got like super cool squid arm powers. But we got him. We got him eventually last time. Yeah, she, she's, she's on the same team as those dudes. It's crazy. I'll go over to the other place because Quite a good farm as well, and I'll show you how I got to uh, one of the other pieces of loot. It's kind of interesting. Let's see, where's the uh, where's the save point gone? It's over here. Here it is. One day I'll have played enough Bloodborne to know where things are. I'm doing pretty good, like off the top of my memory. It's not like I sit here and watch all my Bloodborne videos over and over again. We did it once through, and I'm kind of pretty much remembering where everything was and what everything was doing. Um, so we start off with the Cathedral Ward, and then we'll be able to get to the other place. It's interesting because you can only go through it one way. Even after you've gone through, you don't really unlock a shortcut to get back up there. Because once you're in there, you drop off of a wall. So you can't ever go back the new way that you came out of. It is always the case where you have to... Oh, she's not panicking anymore. Let me see if she's got something interesting to say now that she's not flipping out. <laughs> oh, there you are. You're Emily, dear. Is anything the matter? You can always tell me. Mother will make everything better. Whoa, you ain't my mum. Right, um... So yeah, um, oh, she's gone again. The other person, the other, like, hunter lady I discovered, she was out here saying, don't go somewhere, I'm gonna kill someone there first before you get there. But she's gone again. I guess we'll, we'll find her somewhere else. But you start going up here. As if you were gonna do this crazy place. That I still haven't found out how you get past the door that's locked up the top gotta deal with this guy. Jam it, jam it. And we're good. Then we just need to defeat one more enemy. Jam it, jam it. Okay, we're good. It's here. This is what I didn't find. Now, there's a clue. There's one of the upgrade guys that kind of jumps off here. But once you're down here and you go around this corner. And you look left. So I don't know if I've never been down here or if I just never looked left. But there is this. 
a crazy tower of downwardsness. It looks a lot like Lords of the Fallen, to be honest, in here. They have a lot of this in that game. And then you uh, safely navigate all the bits. Use up a lot of health potions that you can't really avoid. And down the bottom of here was where Satan lived. Werewolf Satan. And he's just hurling fireballs and going crazy. And I think I fought a version of him in the Chalice Dungeons. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not, though. Once you get to here, there is one more jump. It's a bit hard to see. It's about here. There we go. There's tons of health. Millions. Now. Right, and you get, like, a, a rune off of him called, like, a rune of beasts. And you have to kind of fight him in this crazy little arena. Pretty cool. Yeah. I did a, a, a little bit of those dungeon things. I thought they were fine. But I'd need to farm them for like another 50 hours to get my health up. So here is a lantern and a door and you can knock on it and talk to the dude. <laughs> a night of curses. A night to remember. What do you say, friend? <laughs> There's a whole couple of streets around this. We've got some exclusive mobs down here as well. Uh, right, so there's there's the bag man. I, I hate him. So we'll lure him out and then we'll go the other way instead. I just hate him so much. He kicks so hard. He knows kung fu. This is going to be easier. Now we can get a, a better look at the exclusive guys. So these, I don't think you find these anywhere else. They've got kind of awesome little hats on. They are just like some of the beginning dudes. And, you know, there was a couple of scraps of loot around here and there, but I couldn't find anywhere too super extra interesting to go. One of these over here. Once he stands up, he just is one of the... Bag men without a bag. Yeah, all of this was painted on doors. Boo. And now we'll finally, finally get to the piece of loot that I was looking at for so long that tipped me off that there was more levels somewhere here. Oh, fellas, please. Uh, we did look down here, right? Yeah, that's where I killed the first dog. Yep, 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 yep. Right. Is the... No, the lift isn't here. Summon that back. I don't want to just jump down the hole. That'd be bad. Towards the end of the game, I'm going to jump down there and see if there is more level down there, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. Here it is. There was just a couple of souls on this guy, but it's where all of the the guys with masks and hats on are. This is where you could summon like Hilda before, uh, but her summon mark's gone. And then yeah, we just we just a regular day back in normal Bloodborne now. This is where the scythe one is. Up around this corner. Yeah, somewhere super familiar. I spent billions of hours here last time. Quite a long way around to go, but it didn't get me the key for like upstairs in that building. Yeah. So I think both times it was just a whole bunch of souls on the floor, but because it's there, because I must. Because I must obtain everything. I have to have all the things. I was I, I was compelled to find the bonus level. And it works. I'm very, you know, loot driven. Because how else will I save the world without loot? I guess while we're here, we should go... Well, I mean, we could go to the asylum by letting him kidnap us, but... 
Yeah. I think Albert was um, more down towards where the three gravekeepers are, so we're going to go for the three gravekeeper boss instead. Should be good. I cleared all of, like, Snake Highway yesterday. Complete full clear of Snake Highway. So it's done. So we never have to, like, properly seriously do it again. Uh, and I think that's the thing that I'm most proud of. Snake Highway is out of here. Crow for the garb. A tire worn by Eileen the Crow. Hunter of a hunter of hunters. Uh oh, I'm a hunter. Right, so I remember where all my shortcuts are. I think we can go down this lift, and then are we turning right or left? I think we're turning left, going down another lift, and then we're we're basically there. We got to like run past a couple of pigs. Oops, my bad. Oink. Nice. Oh, cool. Here we go. Uh, what? Oh, okay. One, one pixel short. My bad. Uh, if we take the high road, maybe we can we can dodge the pig. I no, nope. Hey, pig! You wouldn't follow a guy underneath uh, a bunch of trees, would you? Oh, he would. Maybe I can. Uh, maybe I can dodge this one. Okay, so we saw like a a helper person nearby as well. So we're gonna we're gonna summon in a helper. But he had like a really really red symbol, so I don't know if maybe he's a bad guy. I just don't know it yet. Oh god! Oh god! Oh no, he's seen me. Blech. Nice. That didn't take me too long. Right, summon sign. Yeah, this looks really evil and really red. But we're gonna summon young Madaris twin. Please, please don't be an enemy. Be cool, bro. Okay, he has like a butcher's apron on. Uh, uh, okay, cool. He's got an executioner's hood on as well. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. Let's go get the three gravekeepers. Yeah. Okay. Good luck to me. Good luck to uh, younger Madaris twin. Yeah, sorry, I'm, 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 I, I guess I'm prejudiced. Pre, prejudged. 
by his hood of death. Guy's got no poise. Get him. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Matterus in with the slingium. Oh, Ooh, that's a lot of health loss. Oh, poor Matterus. Getting cooked. I'm gonna finish this guy off if I can. Oh god, he's got snake head. Got a lot of extra rally out there. Pretty sweet. Come on, Madras. Hold on. I'll save you. I got you, pal. Oh. No! He's down! My boy's down. Do you have a snake head, or is he just a bunch of snakes tangled together wearing a robe? Yeah! A bunch of snakes in a costume, trying to get into theme parks and stuff. They're over this high to ride. Oh god. Ow. Ow. Stop them with the gun. Interesting. Yeah, his uh, his snake arm's got some reach. Damn. I'm gonna use all 13 bullets and not get a single like punishment on the map, on I. Oh, here we go. Pow. Oh, big damage. Huge. Ah, stop it. Here we go again. The same weakened guy. Ah, oh, his, his brother had him. Oh, he still, he still died from the... Whoa. Uh-oh. Hey, um... That's, that's an illegal snake use. Stop it. Okay, Bloodborne Combat's got a little bit more to it when you've got the rest. When you've got the rest of the gun combat in there, it kind of works. It's kind of it's cool. We're on a bit of a killing spree right now. Oh! Oh, yeah! Nice. Okay, they can bring this game to PC. They can bring this game to PC, I'll allow it. I will let them bring Bloodborne to PC now. It's it's fine. It pass it passes the test. It's it's average. <laughs> yeah, I thought some of that was pretty good. I went down to zero bullets, I didn't even realise like if I'd tried to do it again, click. Nothing. <laughs> Well, this, this, this is going a little bit easy now. Game of the year. Ooh, ooh. So this is probably the side that I came in from, right? Yeah, this, yeah, this feels about right. So that's the exit side with the door on it. Uh, was there any loot in the arena? I don't think there was, but we'll, we'll have a little bit of a sneak around. A little bit of a, a bit of a looky look. So that, that was cool. That, bo that boss gets the thumbs up. You know, when you got a second um, person with you and he helps you out, yeah, it's pretty cool. So we're going, going to go down that way, and we're going to go to um, Bergenworth. And they don't have any burgers in Bergenworth, and it, it, it kind of upsets me. 
I think we're heading towards uh, Ronald the Spider. And he was tough last time. Like, Ronald's got a lot of kids with him. Like, a thousand million spider kids. So it's a, it's a little bit rough, from what I remember. But it took me, like, a million years to figure out where the boss was. And it won't this time. Instead of having to find the king Welcome. over the course of it? two months, I just know where the king Very is. Well. Let me... Let's get some more injuries. There we go. 18,000 for the next level up. I think we can do that. I think we've got enough spare stuff. Farewell, good hunt. Uh, probably use all five of these. Let's see. One, 18,000. Oh, a little bit sure. Almost there. Oh, that's too much. Rut roll. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. And more endurance. Okay, another two stamina. Getting good. I think we started on 96. And now we've got 116. It's going to make all the difference. Farewell, good may you. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. What about the uh, the boss guy? The boss item selling guy. So this is new. There used to be like one, th uh, two things in this menu, not three. Some more stock of those. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, nothing else. Okay. No new outfits for me. Don't have enough stuff to fortify. The good new gems. Right, none of those have a health regen on them, other than the one I've already got on. What about here? Just looking for a pure numbers increase. And same with this one, just looking for a pure numbers increase. Nah, 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 nothing good enough. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, I suppose I should check the gun. Nope, no, no, no. So we're done. Town trip officially quickly over. So we're looking for somewhere called like... Oh, hey, Maze. How's it going? Uh, we're looking for somewhere called like Hemwick Channel or Hemwick something or other. For my like coach journey to like something something castle. Oh, I'm glad the chat is alive. I'd be rather sad if like I'd botched it again. I was trying to test out some new settings this morning to make it like 4K again instead of 2K. I'm currently running on, but nope. I think I'm going to have to upgrade my computer if I want to run 4K again. Because I siphoned off some of my computing power for the second computer to run a second copy of Windows simultaneously. I have an extra virtual machine to run a game server, and the loss of some of the extra cores and RAM just, uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Not so good. Oh, he tried to get me with the grapple. I hate that grapple. Hey, maybe it won't... Oh, we're about to find out. Maybe it won't one-shot me anymore. Wow, that used to kill me in one hit. And now it takes barely barely nothing off of me. This is going to be a lot easier. Uh, totally anything is a good sign to upgrade a computer. We'll get a third one. Duh. I, I honestly could see myself with the third one, because some of the people that have got these uh, backup computers with all their video files on, they're all like, well, what if my computer goes wrong with all the video files on? So I'll just have a third computer that clones the second computer, and then the second computer's got all the stuff on it, but so is the third, technically, and then your first computer's got nothing on it, which makes it run a lot faster, because you're not doing anything with the first one other than playing the game. <laughs> yeah, I like health. Health definitely helps. It's it's very difficult to have like two computers go absolutely explosion one after another, but I guess it could happen. I think some of the people in that situation are thinking, hmm, I get I guess I'll also spend like a lot of money on cloud storage and have like an entire fourth computer, but I just pay someone to virtually host that fourth computer. <laughs> and they go that route. And I have seen that, but like Google and Microsoft charge you a lot of money to have that much space, I think. 
not something that I'm ready to afford until the channel gets like, I don't know, 200 people on every stream, and even that's kind of like a, a, a low amount, I think, to go off and spend that much extra money. So this is the shortcut that we uh, unlock like a little bit later. I think we have to get past that laser monster first. Which I guess you can do without even fighting it. Yeah, I, th I think the, the, the two on average viewers I get is a little bit short of 200. I just need to add an extra couple of zeros. And then it will be 200. There we go. Oh god. Hello fly people. Stop. Stop doing these things. Lull spear. But yeah, you know, I guess, um... Oh, is that summoning sign up there? Cool. I guess all the extra bit rate of going up to, like, 4k and cramming an extra load of, you know, bit rate into it would only help if people wanted to watch the videos on YouTube anyway, which they kind of don't. I'm still very unheard of on YouTube. Oh, the guy's alright. Summon Younger Madras Twin. This is the guy that helped us out just now with the boss. He's, he's going to help us out again. He's, he's a cool dude. I guess uh, this NPC, he's already completed the game. So he's, he's very happy to come back and help me complete it. It's it's cheating, basically. Did he upgrade his gun? It's the same axe, but yeah, maybe 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 not. Uh, yeah, zeros are basically nothing, so adding two at the end must be really easy. True. Uh, how goes the Borning of the Blood? Yeah, I found, like, a lot of extra locations, too, so far, that I couldn't get to last time, so I'm, I'm, I'm a genius. Apparently having a clearer screen by, uh, looking at the, the game directly on the monitor rather than through a stream of a stream of a stream has really helped me out. And with a lot of health, I'm really enjoying the combat a lot more, like, I can have a failed gun parry and it doesn't just kill me instantly, which was my problem before, I'm just like... I'm missing half the mechanics of the game, because getting this wrong, I just die. And not dying instantly is, is a lot of fun. Oh man, I missed him with the... Oh, no, he's in the cutscene. Oh god, he's, he's vacuuming his brain. Nasty. I'll save you. There we go. We're helping. An arcane lake? Cool. Yeah, uh, apparently games are a lot more fun when you kind of play them the way that the, the, the designer intended rather than trying to do some crazy wacky scheme. Although to be fair, to be serious and fair, I feel like in an RPG you should just be able to choose your stance. And having no health is a choice that you can make. I know that feeling, just recently replaced my TV with a lot of dead pixels, feels nice to finally see everything. Yeah, I couldn't plug the PlayStation 5 directly into my old monitor. I d it, it just didn't have the... didn't have any HDMI ports at all on it, I don't think. So that was kind of rough. Because my monitor's from 2015, and it's just like, literally just a PC monitor only. Whereas they all seem to have HDMI ports now, which is, which is great. So I just kind of flick to a different channel, and there's Bloodborne. Looking forward to playing the Demon Souls remake again. Whoa, the Madras guys has gone after the, the, the laser artillery? What a boss. Just keep getting it with heavy attacks. Ow. This is so much easier without the starting class health only. Jeez. Team playing games on hard mode and getting annoyed. It's hard now enjoying the game with the resources you can use. Yep. I mean, that's it. I, I put the, 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 the stick in my bicycle's spoke. And then I went flying. And I hurt myself. And I said, damn you, FromSoft. Damn you to hell, FromSoft. But that other games are totally completable with the starting health. Dark Souls 1, 2, 3... No, it was fine. I mean, 3 maybe maybe not so much. But uh, Dark Souls 1 and 2, they're a total trip with the starting health only. On your first playthrough, ever. 
pretty cool. Kind of looks like Gaping Dragon, but then, yeah, it does. It really does. The way he's, like, got his spine bent. I could see that. I wonder how, um, difficult or easy the, uh... He's like, he's like a PvP fight kind of guy in here. He's like another one of the very humanoid hunters. Not that I've ever done any PvP. With my helper along, maybe this won't be so bad. Yeah, I, I think it, it all is, but that is way harder, yeah. So this, I still want to figure out this. Because you go through one of these hatches to get into Odin Chimp. Uh, temple, o Odin Chapel, and we still haven't found out how to get to the bottom of this to open this up. But here comes the guy, I assume. He's gonna come rushing downstairs and try and kill me. Okay, Matt, Matt shall watch my back while I uh, open all the boxes and things, I guess. Up, oh, up, oh, look, whoa, whoa. Hell slug. I think that was villain stuff, the hell slug. getting him. Oh yeah, he doesn't just one-shot me immediately. That's nice. Get him! Get him! Oh, he's got squid arms as well. I didn't even remember that. Everybody out there with their squid arms spell. Where, when am I going to learn it? You know, to be honest, I don't want to be on Team Squid anyway. Wow, instead of that taking me 452 attempts, it took me one. How about that? We can open this door, right? Yeah. Just piling up. I'm in the corner, yep. I mean, we were... Oh, man. We, we were kind of doing alright anyway, but that was... It was the Zangief strategy in Street Fighter. Or, you know, Chun-Li. Or... E-Honda. Did I say E-Honda already? No, I think I... I think I meant Blanka when I said Zangief. Oof. We need to play more Street Fighter. Student uniform and trousers. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, a note. Let's reread this. The spider hides all manner of rituals, certain to reveal nothing, for true enlightenment need not be shared. That's harsh. Since we are on the topic, have you played slash finished Elden Ring? Played the original game all the way through, starting health. Went wonderfully. Except for the end, where I was a holy caster and everyone seems to be very holy resistant. That sort of upset me a lot. The DLC I then went on to also try and defeat on launch day with the classes starting health. It went okay for about six days and then eventually I just had to put in health because just the way they've designed it, enemies will just spray the whole universe with damage that's, that's so mighty that it just kills you and you just need health. I can't see any way around some of those bosses without health. And I got all the way up to what I assume is the last boss and I haven't defeated him. And I've cleared every other piece of content that I could find. And it was so much fun but I just I can't work out how to do the last boss yet. We're gonna go back and we're gonna figure that out with like no spoilers, no guides, no wikis as always. But I just I can't think my way around that fight. He just He's just too powerful. When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred. And when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with a child. Huh. I think the key to open that door where the guy is is just up here. Yeah, holy caster. And then, you know, the end of the DLC is also like a bunch of holy resistance stuff. So I just... Man, I, I just... I'm not doing so good. Lunana room key, cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm. I follow the uh, Golden Order fundamentalists. Uh, so I like throwing the holy like 
discus spells that return to you. They, they just look like you're throwing pizzas at people. I love that spell. Here we go. Ah, he missed me. Cool. But yeah, uh... Oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh God. He's kicked me down two floors. Yeah. Yeah, I think Golden Mask is the man. He's the guy that I ended up following. But then his scribe went insane at the end of the game and, and, and died in the capital. Uh, I used to love the capital. And then look what they did to my boy. Poor city of Lendl. I was so happy, and then I became so sad. I don't know where the body of that fly went. Oh well. Curse you, last boss. Shakes fist. Damn that last boss that no one spoiled on the chat yet. <laughs> yeah. I can think of one moment that maybe somebody said the name of the last boss. Why can't we just throw pizzas at people? It's true. I think people generally uh, enjoy having pizzas donated to them for free. So I, you know, I just think that's a positive thing when you're launching pizzas at people. Yeah, I can get through phase one, half health, and then when he shows up for phase two, I just, I can't, I can't do it. I, I just can't. He starts taking half damage from all of my spells, so the phase is already going to last twice, twice as long, but also... He adds an attack in between all of the gaps where his attacks had gaps. So he's taken half damage, he's dealing twice as much damage, and he's attacking twice as fast. The maths don't add up, I can't win. Oh, I didn't realize last time he gives you mind powers, because the graphics were so low. I guess that's how I end up being able to uh, go after Rhombus. Rhombus the spider, Ronald the spider. Isn't give you the graphic the second time, okay. 